Good morning. Exciting news. Tomorrow we will receive our long-awaited solar arch. Today it's the last preparation works. We need to fit the charger, which is a Victron MPPT 250-100 solar charger. We need to put this little vent in here and we need to drill two holes for the solar cables and for the battery cables that will be installed. So let's get to work. Because this is going to heat up quite a bit and it's going to be mounted to the back of the settee here, we have decided to put in a ventilation hole that gives a little bit more of ventilation in here and it looks as it fits. Perfect. And now the last thing we have to do is to drill two holes through that little bulkhead here to be able to pull the cables through to the batteries. Here we have the cables that will be fed through these holes. Um, we pulled them yesterday through the whole boat. We have two cables for the solar panels. That's where the electricity will come that's going to be produced. It's going to go into our charge controller and then we have one cable that will connect the charge controller with its steering unit and then there will be two more cables that will go from the charge controller directly to the batteries to load the batteries. There is obviously not only the solar arch that will come, it came with a whole lot of adaptations that needed to be done. So first of all, the life wires uh, that go outside of the boat needs to be uh, redone re-spliced that's already prepared i have spliced four nice slings and these will be upper and lower life uh, life lines that go on the back of the boat so everything it's all in dyneema all spliced uh, and um, this is uh, stainless steel that will go on we will show that when uh, we fit it on furthermore our solar arch will also serve as a dinghy lift so we can take our dinghy out of the water um, for that we need two of these pulleys i have spliced uh, made, made a nice a nice eye splice here spliced it on that's one pulley here that's going to be fitted to the dinghy and on the other side we can pull it up a small crane so one for each end of the dinghy Also, we need to be able to lift our heavy outboard engine. It's 50 kilos and uh, that's just not manageable. So this is a little pulley crane that will also be attached to the arch uh, with which we can lift and lower 
the outboard engine into the dinghy and fit it so that's going to be hopefully much easier than it was before i have cut two wooden two pieces of wood for the brackets uh, mark the fabricator of the arch has welded in a three millimeter stainless steel plate into our guardrail so these will fit on both sides of it and that's where the dinghy engine, the outboard engine, will fit in the end. We have two antenna that we're gonna go on the arch. That's the first one. This is a, a big uh, GSM antenna, which will ensure that we have mobile data, hopefully a good reception. This is one of the best products, a pointing antenna, uh, big and nice, which will hopefully give fast and reliable data connection to our router. A small radio antenna uh, for digital reception that's gonna come on the arch as well once it's finished. We have here a Mantis anchor bracket this is gonna come on our push pit a nice piece of stainless and it's gonna hold our stern anchor in here safe uh, to be deployed quickly and easily. We also had to do quite a few works on the back end of the boat where the arch will be fitted. It's going to be a couple of holes that will be, will be drilled through the deck and we needed to do some deck reinforcements. I have the cables pulled in and everything so best is I show it to you. As you can see this is quite a narrow space on the stern of the boat. It's about the size of a large car trunk. And uh, in there, there is a lot of cables and ducts and hoses that restrict access uh, to uh, the, the, the things we have to do. Firstly, here we have all the electronics that we need. Uh, it's from Garmin, it's a network expander and on the other side you see the Servo GX which is the control unit for all our electrics where also in the end the solar charger will be connected to. This is uh, the front corner of the arch. You see the deck reinforcement that we had to do up here. This is four millimeters of plywood glassed in uh, through the deck and uh, this will hold the front leg of the solar arch. We had to do one of these each in each corner. So one is here, that's the one I can show you best. Uh, I won't bore you to go further into um, the belly of the boat and show the other ones. But that's basically uh, the most time consuming thing. It took us about a week to get these cut and glassed in. I've also prepared a cable which will link the navigation light, the stern light, to the system. This had to be changed. Uh, it's not going to be on the same place on the arch, therefore we need uh, an extension cable for that. That's also prepared, ready to be plugged in. Hello everybody, I'm back on board again. This time I'm here just for the weekend to visit my parents a bit, so I'll, I'll be in this video again. Um, we are off to um, Premier Marina now uh, to get the solar arch because it's too big to fit through the gates of Haslar Marina, so we need to move over to Premier so we can install it. And that's where we're headed now. And we made it. So we just got the message that the arch is here, so we'll set off and we'll go get it. And we'll take you along. So that we can lift it up. It's massive. We need two guiding lines at either end so we can 
properly guide this thing into place. But it's always just so, so. So that's. This is the deck, and that's my reinforcement. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Wait. Uh, why should we have a longer boat? Are you holding? Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, uh, oh, that's supposed to. Just keep on holding. Ah, uh, I need to find a good position here. Boo. Uh. Uh, this is what the finished job looks like on one side. We uh, made some holes, put the bolts through, on the bottom attached a nut and the washer. And then we put some masking tape here so that the, um, the sealant doesn't ruin the teak. And same over here. And now we're just finishing the last little plate. down below to tighten the bolts. Do you think. Cool. Ah. So, it is Constantine's turn. Mal probieren, ob er etwas wendiger ist. Daniel hat eine Beule. Aber, ähm, just to give Constantine the feeling how it feels. Schnur! 
Aha, mach da vorne zuerst. Was? Äh, vorne. Äh, vorne, warte. Ja. So, kann ich schon das Tool dort geben. Äh, so now, um, as the arch is up, it's now attaching all the things to it and safety first. We're going to install the safety lines on the side first so that the gaps are closed and open and fall overboard. You can apparently also use it as a, as a pull-up bar to do some workouts on. Just a bit high to get up to. Could have done it a bit lower then it would have been easier to get to. But... And Daniel, can you do the same? No, <laughs> I'm not gonna try. But holds well. Wow, das ist aber gut. Wow, super. Wow. Schön aus. Und fühlt sich vor allem auch wieder sicher an. Hm? We're fixing the lift for the dinghy. Pretty stable, but sketchy nonetheless. Die da. Ja. Okay, dann wird die andere Karte auf die andere Seite überklettern. On the very outside I don't dare to go yet. Mach glatt! Ich kann mir nicht bewegen. Oh, also das ist schon so ein bisschen. Advanced klettern. Ja, ist, wenn man hier dran sind, kann man, ah, kann man sich selber kann man sich gut ziehen mit dem Ding, mit dem. Äh so. Okay. Jetzt kann man sich eigentlich dann selber kann man sich da gut ziehen. Dann kann man sich auch machen und dann gut ziehen bei uns Dann ist das auch einfach. Ja, wie willst du denn da was? <lacht> Scheiße. Das ist jetzt lang, gell? Du musst ja noch mal langsam runterlassen. Du musst ja noch mal ein bisschen runterlassen. Langsam. Sorgfältig. Langsam. 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 Bist du so sicher? Das ist der zweite Darwiner Wort. So now we're mousing the lines, or not the lines, the, the shackles, so they don't get undone.
Morning. Here's the result of all that hard work. We can see it on our chart plotter. We have a widget from Victor Energy that shows exactly what's happening with all our electrics. And we can see here, we use 850 watts of power because I'm heating the hot water, the calorifier uh, through the inverter. Uh, that goes through the battery, into the inverter and into uh, the, the, the heater of the water. And you can see the solar channel, solar panels at the moment, they deliver about 450 watts. It's uh, quarter to five on a cloudy afternoon. The sun comes through just about and we're still delivering 450 watts. Uh, the maximum we produced on uh, the uh, photo uh, cells here was about uh, 1250 watts so uh, they're capable of doing a lot more so we're um, quite happy about uh, the whole thing